Hello, my jumping up a second. Welcome back to No Man's Sky. I knew there was a fumble. I will not restart it because everything's different now. We are back on normal and Beyond has just rolled out on Steam. So I am recording. As of this recording, Beyond is fresh. It is less than 10 minutes fresh. So this is a first look, first impression. Now you might see some strange artifacting because I already do on the screen. I don't see it on my recording side, but I do see it on the screen. Lower left side has some very, very weird artifacting. And hopefully though that will not appear anymore. So first thing I notice is I don't recall really where we left off, but we were obviously on our freighter. I haven't actually done anything. I, this is the first look. The freighter is a lot bigger. It's huge now. Okay, let's check out the upstairs of the freighter. These are a lot uh, more upwards. The freighter is slightly different. The stairs are slightly different. I have not gone outside the freighter. Again, I just entered the game. Okay, there is weird artifacting going around, but that is to be expected. I was warned on Twitch that on Xbox and PlayStation, there have been a lot of crashes. Right, so we are in an asteroid field. I really don't remember where exactly we- Oh, the chair moves! Is he gonna turn around again? No, you're not happening. No, okay, apparently not. This is our freighter, that's a planet. Uh, do keep in mind I have disabled all mods. So this is just gonna be a beyond look at for, I don't know how many episodes, we'll see. So am I gonna go upwards? Uh, probably not. Uh, the lights are like really weirded out. Really, really weird. But it's to be expected. This is the initial release. There's gonna be a lot of bugs. Uh, maybe a couple of days and they'll be ironed out mostly. Uh, so am I gonna go up? There's no. Eh, there might be a point. Okay, let's go up. I mean, upwards. What? What was there upwards here? It was just a farm, wasn't it? Oh no, this is where I built the... Yeah, the lighting is really weird. Look at the distance over there. Look at how it is. But you know what? We're not going to judge a book by its cover. Even the, even if the cover is slightly battered. Okay, that's like in the middle of nowhere. Uh, these are all... These are all probably back, but I won't deal with them yet. Okay, so everything's a little bit... It looks like it's static. It looks like motion blur is like all over the place for some reason. Now, I the only thing I've done is skim through the patch notes, so the patch notes are very interesting, and again, I just did a skim. Uh, because the patch notes are massive, there's a lot of things added. So first of all, I know that there's been UI changes. That's sort of uh, obvious. It was in the patch notes as well, anyway. There's a lot of things in the patch notes. Apparently you can now ride and feed creatures, so let's first of all check out our inventories. Apparently the inventory now holds an insane amount of uh, stuff, so... Oh, there's actual numbers! Oh, there's actual numbers. So I have no idea how long this episode is going to be. There might be a couple of crashes. I'm sorry about them. Uh, but this is the first episode. Okay, so there is technology. Apparently now you can just move things apart, uh, move things around. Uh, I think somehow. No, I, oh, I can. That's insane. Right, so things are different. Yep. Uh, technology is here instead of over here, which is not a big deal. It's going to take some getting used to. Uh, yeah, and apparently things now stack in insane amounts. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Oh, not all the things, though. Microprocessors still stack till 5. So does there is a side. So apparently the rarer materials are just... Oh, that's broken. I'm going to need a heart of the... What? Why is this broken? Oh, I've been cheated here. Yeah, let's make some ammo. So this is a base computer. Uh, why do I have a base computer? I'm pretty sure I didn't have a base computer. And this is not Wilson. Oh, right. This is not mine. Right, this is our cargo. Oh, wow. That, oh, that is insane. That's going to make my life a lot easier. It's going to make inventory management insanely easy. I just... Uh, too bad I can't, like, transfer them like so, but... Right. Oh. Look at that. This is... Uh, wow. Okay, I can just do this all day now. Oh, that feels so good. Oh. That feels so good. I can barely believe that this thing is actually clean. 
Okay, I can still transfer stuff normally. There's a bunch of gold. Wow, the freighter. Look at the amount of stuff the freighter can hold. Look at look at this. A hundred thousand. Wow. Um, I mean, do I have to say anything else? Okay, so HUDs are changed. Hyperdrive range is an exact numbers instead of you know the. I mean, yeah, it had exact numbers anyway, but still, though, that's a that's a very different. Right, so this was our normal ship, right? This was the S-Class. Yeah, 38 plus 12. This was our normal ship. Yeah, this is Malice. Getting it is kind of uh, slow, but that is because of the mods. Do keep in mind that the mods did increase the action time. So there's actual numbers now, which is really good. Maneuverability is 563. Apparently, space combat, like flying in general, has been increased. Why can I not take off? Well, taking off takes a long time. And yeah, that's going to need fixing. Okay, it looks a little bit, it feels a little bit more fluent, a little bit more responsive. You only have a potent cannon, I'm going to need to fix that. Right, so next thing I want to check out is the space station. So again, do keep in mind that I have no idea how long this episode is going to be. Wow, yeah, everything feels a lot more responsive. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can move so well when I was in turbo mode. The colors seem a lot brighter, but that could be just because of the mods. The mods were very dark and I wanted them that way. It just uh, gave a darker feel to the galaxy, to the universe in general. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, flying speeds are going to be a lot slower now because do keep in mind, again, unmodded. Um, the modded, modded, the mods just give a lot of speeds. So I will go to the anomaly afterwards. Apparently the anomaly now is sort of a hub where you can meet a lot of people and it transcends galaxies and locations. So, you know, if you call it in whatever galaxy you're at, like a person from the first galaxy can still visit you on the station. So that's sort of cool. And the creatures, the taming creatures thing, oof, we're going to have to check that out. Okay, so there's a space station. I don't know if that's going to be our first planet. It might be, though. Oh, new uh, HUD icons. That's cool. It's a Fend one. It's probably not going to be the first one. So apparently there's new NPCs as well. Um, oh, that was... That didn't even allow me to hit the station. Has somebody been watching my videos? Hmm. Anyway. Let's say. Right. So hopefully I will not alt tab because if I do, you're gonna see my cluttered desktop, and that's a whole mess of things. Okay, so I'm actually I seem a lot shorter than uh, these people for some reason, and I shouldn't. Let's see what they're selling. Oh, right, this is very slow. I forgot about that. This thing moves now. The iris moves now. Right. So buy and sell is very prominent here. We want to buy though. We want to see what's. Uh, can I actually increase them? Like I don't know quickly. No? Can I, like, add a number now? Nope. Apparently can't. Oh, they move! That scared me. Wow, they move now. What? Okay, that's a lot. That's very dynamic. Okay, let's see what you're offering. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same. Oh, wow, that's not just instant text. If I hold down the left mouse button, it scrolls faster. But it's not instant. All right, let me browse. Same things, nothing new. Apparently there's like some new missions or whatever which are in the hub. Uh, yeah, these are the stuff that I can turn in. I should probably just turn it in. I don't know why I haven't, honestly. This is still very slow though, turning the, turning the missions in. Now do keep in mind, again, I would... Okay, nope. Um, okay, I'm not gonna do that. That took way too long. Way, way too long. Okay, there's... there's some, whoa, oh, yeah, there is something here. I thought I saw something when I was walking over here. I didn't want to mention it. A cartographer, somebody. There's a map. There's uh, things here. Let's see what's going on. The Viking gestures proudly at the data banks that surround them, screen after screen of geographical charts. Grah, honorable something. Viking weapons, or whatever. Exchange map, purchase map, and ask for help. Okay, let's purchase a map. We have nanites. Hands me a chart to a new location of interest, ready to be mapped and added to their database. Planetary chart? What? 
A map of a, of a nearby planet, a secure site of interest has been marked. Select the map and use the plot route uh, to pin the location in your exosuit display. New maps can be gained by exchanging navigation data with a space station cartographer. Huh, what does this thing do? Oh, this is going to take us some time. This is going to take us a very long time to explore everything that's new. Seriously, the update was massive. Let's exchange maps. See what happens. Cartographer enters the coordinates in their centralized tracking device. They hand me a chart to a new location of interest, ready to be mapped and added to their database. Okay, so I, I think I just got two. No, I just got one extra. We're going to check to see what those do exactly in a little bit. Is that... What is that? That's a... What? That's a Corvax. That's a Viking. I thought I was on a Viking station. What is going on here? Let's see what's behind door number one. Okay, there, it's a double door. There's still nothing here. Nanites received. 50 of them. Oh, I don't think I've ever gotten 50. Or at the very least, it's very rare. The ships seem a lot bigger, by the way. I don't know. Yeah, the ships do seem a lot bigger, a lot bulkier. Why are there Corvax here? Alright, so I I can actually uh, like die here. It's fine because this is not permadeath. This is uh, the highest setting, but not permadeath. Okay, let's see. Is there anything new added here? Uh, I have not noticed any... Um, Artifacting here, though. Okay, you're ugly. Wow, I don't think I've seen a gek like... Oh. Did you see the hand move? I don't think I've ever seen that. Possibly new animations have been added. Nanites received. 11. Do I even need those? Probably not. Corporal. That's a terminal. And sure, I'll use this. That's 57. Okay, they, I think they increased the nanites received from certain things. The double door here is uh, annoying. Right, let's see. Are you selling anything new? Uh, I can't actually skip uh, text really quickly though, which is an, an issue. Okay, uh, new models. Boltcaster module. Plasma launcher, blaze javelin, boltcaster module class S. Okay, can I, oh, I cannot switch to selling though. Uh, with X. Normally I could just switch it with my X key, but I can't, so I have to manually click here if I want to sell. Huh. So I'm pretty sure there shouldn't be anything new added in that case. Interlooper! Oh, this is really annoying. This is going to take so much time. Yep, look, shield upgrades look like this. Hyperdrive modules like this. Pulse engines are still like a picture, but whatever. So Cyclotron, I should look for a Cyclotron modules. I do miss a Cyclotron. I think it's a really good weapon. So you're, yeah, I don't care about you that much. And you, I'm pretty sure I have the max. Yep, I do. That bug is still there. Seriously, oh, let me skip the text. Like, even Spacebar doesn't skip the text. Like, you can't, it just scrolls faster. I'm pretty sure I don't need any modules, like Shield Module Class S here. It's blue while all life support is, yeah. Radiation protection, okay. So let's see, do I actually need anything? Technology. Uh, these shields will probably be moved, but I'm gonna do that like a little bit off camera. I'm not really gonna do this on camera. Uh, are there, is there anything new added here? Viking Traveler Cormax Gek. I'm not really gonna keep this like I am going to keep my current vision. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's been anything new added. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah. I guess, uh, I mean, it's understandable. Um, they, uh, the people, the guys at Hello, the people at Hello Games have been working. Oh, there's a, a thing here. Wow. And there's a thing over there. Wow. That, what? That's a game changer. That is a game changer. The ships do look a lot bigger, like they look massive compared to what they were. Before the ship was like my height, now it's massive, it's bulky. Which is actually a lot better in my opinion. Okay, um, so I was supposed to... 
Uh, so I need to just hit E to plot a route. It consumes a charge. And where... Operation Center. Where is that? And it's going to be a random location on this... In the system, right? No. Oh. I have no idea how long these are gonna, these trips are going to take because, again, uh, no mods. So certain things are going to be a lot slower, like pulse jumping. So you're just going to have to like listen to my voice for like two or three minutes sometimes. Ooh, but I am so excited. I kind of have a feeling like, like this, the first episode might be a tad bit longer. Because there's so much to explore. I'm, I actually have a feeling like the next like three or four episodes might just be looking at new things like just seriously like looking at new things and not actually doing more than that oh the planes look very cool ah yeah the ship feels a lot more responsive I don't know I don't know about I don't know it just feels like it it's entirely possible because the a permadeath. Well, I've kind of, I, I, I kind of feel a crash coming. Uh, it might be because the permadeath one is intense heat, unwavering high. Okay, whatever. Um, because the permadeath ship is um, B class and this one is S class. You know, it's entirely possible that that's the reason. But uh, there's fog in the distance. You can actually see that. That's kind of nice. Alright, anything else? Pulse Pitter. Do I have a Scatter Blaster? I do, good. They definitely haven't changed the Scatter Blaster. See anything? Wait a minute, I can use my gun inside? Have they changed these doors now? No. Since when can I use my gun inside? Huh. Oh yeah, and apparently now something really interesting uh, that I read is apparently uh, mining is made a bit more convenient, and that is by apparently uh, the my uh, that is, that bug needed to be fixed like ten years ago, but it hasn't been yet. That's a word, Viking word. So we are in a Viking world. That's a single word, right? Yeah, it's only one. Yeah. Uh, apparently when you use the mining beam, uh, now it heats up a lot slower, but if you do actually heat it up, it apparently like boosts your mining time or whatever, and sentinels will not be uh, so frequently spawned near you, so this means you can actually mine a lot more be before being interrupted. So I have no idea. We don't know a lot of the Viking language here. Interloper, electrification, punishment commencing. There is no way to- oh wait, this is new. There is no text here, it's just scrolling. What? I am confused. I have no idea what to do. I'm in shock. What is this? I'm not used to reading like this. What is going on? There is no way to tell if this is a normal function or a security measure. I'm gonna wait. The problem becomes electrified. The probe becomes electric. The smell of burnt flesh spreads up into my visor. Exosuit damage detected. I actually took a health point damage. Huh, weird. Anyway, let's get out. Are they gonna detect me as a trespasser? No. It has not even begun to scan me, okay. Okay, oop. Yeah, jetpack's kinda wonky though. Not really uh, the best thing to fly with. I don't know. That could just be because of the technologies. I'm pretty sure that I didn't focus a lot on the jetpack. Let's see. What did I do? So yeah, I have only two jetpack upgrades, and there's unstable turbine. There's only two movement speed upgrades. The movement upgrades. Uh, I'm gonna need more. That's why the jetpack feels a little bit wonky. It's it's fine though. We can I can get more. I'll find more with time. Let's look at the other one. Oh, that's actually that actually scanned. And it's close by. Okay. Is this a way for me to actually freely go to manufacturing facilities without having to scan for each and every one of them? It sort of uh, directed the camera in the wrong location, but, you know, it's fine. How close is that? Now, the ship definitely feels a lot more responsive. Like, I'm barely moving the mouse and it's actually going somewhere. Unlike before. 
where you move the mouse on the entire pad, and I have this massive pad. Not entirely sure if we could see a white bracket popping up on the screen. I'm seeing it from time to time. Look, it's absolutely understandable. By the way, uh, OBS is refusing to record No Man's Sky. Uh, normally. The, the way that I normally record is I capture the game directly instead of capturing my entire monitor. Uh, because sometimes things pop up on my monitor, whether it's Steam or, uh, you know, an alert or whatever. Can they actually enter here? So I don't like to capture my monitor, so I'm sorry if you see something inappropriate. Yes, anyway, let's continue. Now, it, it can shoot me in here. But it's not gonna go inside and it's still searching. Okay, that's good. Let's read. I find an off-world message intended for a creature posted in the station. It is oddly sentimental. Images of an infant warrior can be seen. There is then a picture of the same creature as a bloodied adolescent proudly biting into the throat of a hooved beast. I remember this. Grah. So it's the same things, but it just doesn't give it a, it just doesn't give it in uh, double text. And then the answer is Grah. Viking, enemy blood, death, death, death. In the final image, a young warrior salutes his family as it leaves a distant world. There are two locked storage vaults at my feet. The message is programmed to release one. I don't remember which one it was. I'm just going to choose the left one. A content snarling uh, plays. The vault contains an exosuit technology upgrade. Toxic protection module. Oh, what the? Okay, I read about this, but wow, that's big. That is on my screen. That is big. Am I going to continue checking these out? There might be something new. Nope. The other one? Let's see, what about the other one? Locked door. Oh, that bug is so annoying. It's just because the doors open so slowly, so the bug is a lot more prominent on the normal uh, series than on the permadeath, because the permadeath has the increased action speed. So things just open and close a lot quicker. It just takes less time for me to fill that circle in. Anyway, we're done with this, so we saw what the maps do. So next thing... Oh, what the... I was about to actually use up... Ooh. Tech. Portable. Exocraft? Oh. Pilgrim, Nomad, Roamer. So these are just the basic ones. Pen construction recipe. Oh, that's nice. I could do it from here. Oh, and there's actually, look at this. So there's snap rotate, which is really nice. I can actually select the colors now. Uh, well, I could always select the colors. Could delete, could place, navigate. Navigate down, navigate up. Uh, it's a little bit more control, and snap rotate is actually really good. Before it really wasn't snap rotate, especially on some of these. Like portable, I don't care about the refinery. So we have a base computer for some reason. Construction research unit. This wasn't this the blueprint analyzer? What is going on? Uh, autonomous mining unit, harvester, signal booster. There it is. Oh wow. That is... It's turning darker all of a sudden. No, seriously, like, I don't care about that program. Hey, let me refill this and refill this. Just because it's going to be a lot easier for me to talk without caring about what the storm's going on or whatever. So what was I saying again? I forgot what I was saying. It was something about the... Oh, well, that was... I noticed something new. I like how they teleport inside now. Let's look at this. I need carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes. I'm pretty sure I had a blueprint analyzer somewhere. Did I build a base here? I forgot. I know I built... I, uh, indicate desired research path. Oh! Well, would you look at that? Technology already known. Technology already known. Electrical wiring? High capacity electrical wiring. Use wiring to connect power generators to your base. What is going on? Cost one salvageable data. We have none. It's because it hasn't really been a priority for me. Salvageable data, that is. Core. Habitation retech. So we have electrical wiring, batteries, and solar panels. Okay. Okay. 
Wooden shelters. Okay, so these are all the things that I haven't actually learned yet. And I can actually learn whatever I want. Why can't I learn? Oh, it's because I don't have this one. Well, that's nice. I'm gonna need a lot of salvageable data, but there's actually not a lot of stuff now. Before, there used to be more. These are vital technologies. Can I actually change this? Scroll? Nope. Nope. Don't scroll. Nope. Nothing has. No, nothing can be scrolled. ZXY? Nope. Nothing. Return? Let's pick it up. Next thing I wanted to check out, I pressed X by accident. What is this? Oh, it's someone vehicle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Summon the freighter. I can just summon it here now. Yeah, let's do that. I want to see how close it's going to be. Kind of close. Kind of close. Why did I scan? Well, let me see. Is there anything new? Outpost signal detection online. Navigation subroutines online. Okay, okay, okay. Please look. I can decipher for a drop pod, or I could locate nearby structures, but nothing else. Oh, it's entirely possible that navigation data is now just used for maps. Entirely possible. And we found something. It doesn't really matter what. We're going to go there anyway. Oh, no, we're not going to go there. I'm going to... What? Oh. It's for the wiring. Okay. Remove that. General. Autonomous. But, wait a minute. This is both in portable and in general for some reason. Exocraft. Aquatic. I can build this. And I can place whatever glitches I have. Okay, um... Um... Let's uh, go to an outpost. Summon the space anomaly. Summon the freighter. Where's my scan? Utilities. Scan for trading outpost. Oh, it doesn't show up in red anymore. It's blue. Oh, that's an unknown building. Okay, let's go there first. Why can't I mark an unknown bu uh, the, the building? I can't mark them anymore. What was that? It's very dusty. I cannot see a thing. Seriously, go away. That's a drop pod location. Okay, we don't need those. I'm pretty sure we're max. No, that's an abandoned building. So, no, we're going over there. Yeah, this, this, the ship is definitely a lot more responsive. I can barely keep it, like, centered. I can tag. Oh, there's just no circle when tagging. Normally it encircles it and then it tags it. Weird. Very, very weird. Let's land anywhere? How's our launch fuel doing? Haven't really used any, weirdly enough. Let's see what's here. A bunch of Viking. I have still not I have still yet to talk to Viking or Gek or whatever, but we will do that. We'll get to it eventually. One of these days. Alright, so what do I need from here? I guess I could just buy a bunch of extra batteries just to have some. We have just a lot of uh, units and a lot of nanite clusters. Yeah, the ships are definitely I can like guarantee that. I can like bet on that. The ships are massive now. It's not just my imagination. The ships are just massive. Especially that one. Look at it. And there's a Viking here. I mean, he's sort of going through the ground, but so am I. Okay, let's let's try and mine out something. I mean, my ship now looks tiny. Yeah, that's very slow. And it is heating up extremely slow. That is not just due to the mods. I'm pretty sure it did not heat up that slow. Ooh, how I miss the instant mining mod. I really do. I really do. Oh, that's toxic protection. Oh, that's nice. I mean, it has toxic. It's green. It's easy to tell it apart. I really need a heart of the sun. I really need to make that. Right, so another thing we needed to check out, let's press P, which is for our quest, discoveries, and so on. So yeah, this thing was added. I read about this. So now you can just see all the elements that you have discovered. So we're actually missing one. I have no idea which one it is, but we are missing one. 
And out of these, we have all of them. What raw material are we missing? The activated ones are apparently not counted, but we are missing... Is there something new added? There must be something new added. Crafting products. We are missing a couple of them. Synthesized from chlorine. From ionized cobalt. At the very least, it does say it in a, Yeah, you can actually pin a formula, and it should tell you what you need, yeah. And it tells you exactly what you need. I, I can unpin it now, but... No, no, that... Oh, that was that was cool, but let's first look at this. So, equipment, look at this. And we can actually pin the formulas, so we are missing a bunch of formulas. I guess that could be our, like, mission thing, like, fill, fill out everything. Hmm, there are a lot of things missing. What is it? What are these things? I, I see. I know what this is. This is a salvage uh, compartment. And what are these? And where the? What are these? What? This this is wiring. Okay, I I saw this, but I don't have it. Biofuel reactor, a small power generator. I mean, I know what a biofuel reactor is, but still, I want to read it. Burns carbon-based fuel placed in the furnace tanks and converts it into usable power. Huh. Batteries, yeah. Construction parts, let's see. I think we... Wow, there is a lot of tiny construction parts. Do we have... I think we have all of them, don't we? I think these were just like, you know, nowadays, you know, you don't need salvage components to get them. I'm pretty sure I don't have all these. I'm pretty sure I don't. Almost 100%. Those are the ones you buy with Quicksilver. Oh well. Anyway, uh, trade commodities, let's see. So these are all the trade commodities. We have seen all of them. Curiosities. Uh, this is Tetra Cobalt. I'm pretty sure this is Chloride Lattice. Maybe I need to actually build them in order to see them because I have Tetra Cobalt on me, so. Yeah, and uh, I need to build these. Cooking products. Okay, so this... Carbon nanotubes is a cooking product, really. So, basic creature bait can be placed directly or accessed via the quick uh, quick menu. X Basic, really? I didn't see it there. Basic bait will attract creatures and cause them to yield... What? Facium? I'm gonna need to check to see how that's pronounced exactly. Use the analysis visor to discover the bait preferences of a specific creature. Using specific bait allows advanced creature actions. And we have portal glyphs, which we know all of them. I'm gonna pin the formula. So I need 10 carbon and assemble component. Okay, I just need carbon for that. Okay, that's cool. That next one is this thing. Okay, so I saw the I saw a picture of this. That's why I wasn't really surprised when I saw it that much. But yeah, that's kind of cool. Oh, Oh, futuristic. How do I go back? Oh, that's how you go back. That's that's cool. I mean, I saw a picture of this. Nothing else. So if I just click on a planet that we haven't been to, it's not going to do anything. But if I click on a planet that we have been to, it shows me what we've discovered, the waypoints, and all the info. And it's really cool. It's like 3D. It's animated, you know. You have lost connection to the online discovery service. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're playing this day one, you will have issues with uh, with the online discovery service. It's it's absolutely normal. Apparently, there's like an insane influx of people. <laughs> oh, look at it! It's actually highlighting the slot. Okay. How many can I keep of these? Only five. Okay. I guess only basic materials can be carried in the thousands, but that's fine. That's fine by me. So. Right now, I want to go down. I want to find some creatures. Uh, hopefully they require... What bait is this? Creature pellets. Must be basic bait or something. There's one more viking here. Yeah, it took shield damage. Okay, why is this... Why does this keep popping up on my screen? Oh, this is actually really nice info though. Because when I first started No Man's Sky, I did not know that... Every core technology can support three upgrade modules. This is something I didn't know. I had to find out the hard way. 
Each upgrade is unique. Check every space station for upgrades. Use nanites to buy upgrades from space stations. Okay, upgrade modules already made and require no crafting. I don't know why it keeps up popping up, but what I do care is about animals at this point. Shields went down. I think it's a... Oh, right. It's because it wants me to actually install the... Uh, sure, whatever. I'll, I'll install it. Happy now? A thermal protection. I need animals. Where's the animals? Okay, we're gonna go to a different planet and check to see those animals. That seemed like a new... Vi what is that? I, I'm not entirely sure if they added new vessels. I actually didn't read anything about those. So. Yeah, we're not gonna make it. This is not the permadeath jetpack. We barely made it. Yeah, everything's huge. Why am I taking damage? I just randomly took damage. And our ship is very visible. Okay, let's go to a different planet. Or at the very least to the... Taking off is... Uh, it takes a very long time. Let's go to the bright side of the planet. I want to see some animals. I want to check out the pellets. And uh, don't remember to forget. Uh, don't forget to remember. Uh, wait, what? What? Where did they go to again? Uh, what I was trying to say is, let's not forget that I do want to actually uh, go to the space anomaly this episode as well. I know the episode is forty minutes long for now, but I, I don't care. I want to play some Beyond. I am very interested in this, and I I don't have time to actually record more, so. More is gonna be tomorrow for me. Ugh. Tomorrow. I have to wait until tomorrow. By the way, I quit my job recently. Um, and I'm gonna be starting a new job next month. Uh, stole driver. Just different company. This was supposed to be the bright side of the planet. What is going on? You guys go high up in the atmosphere? Seriously, where's the bright side of this thing? That's where it is. Let's go. Uh, do keep in mind, bright side of the planet should have um, more creatures. So. Okay. I mean, uh, there's a huge fog going out, but it's fine. Let's land over here. Landing in uh, this game mode is fine because it's going to take a very small amount of fuel for us. So Sentinel just popped up. Oh, animals over there. Okay, let's scan them. Scanning should be really slow. Really, really slow. Wait a minute. Why is... Why am I not scanning? What's going on? What? Is something broken? Where's my multi-tool? Analysis visor scanner. Huh. Maybe I need to actually physically scan? Nope. Target? Oh, oh! Target object and hold left mouse button to analyze. Bait is scented herbs, which is something we don't have. Scented herbs, we don't have those. Oh, these are uh, new icons. So we don't have scented herbs. I do want to actually use the pellets. We don't have any other food, though. Let's see. It said X. What do you mean X? Utility? Ah, oh, utilities. Okay. So scented herbs is the next one. Create a nutrient processor. Okay, I'm going to need to go back to the base. Uh, okay, you know what? We'll actually leave this for the next episode, so creature stuff is going to be on the next episode. And we're going to go back to the base and see what's going on. Do I even have a base? I don't remember, honestly. It was so long ago. It was like... Three months ago-ish? Yeah, only 20% per takeoff, so we're fine. Let's go summon the E-Space Anomaly. Okay. So apparently the the first time you meet the space anomaly then you can summon it wherever you want. Is it? Does it have a cooldown? No, it does not. I can actually just summon it again. So 
So I guess it, I guess it doesn't really affect anybody but you. So it's fine. Let's check it out. I saw a picture of this for. Ooh, that's new. That is new. Yeah, I saw a picture of exactly this. Now there, you're, we're probably not gonna see anybody uh, because the online. Oh nope, we're seeing people here. Please tell me my microphone is off. Where's the escape button? Oh, there's options. Okay, voice chat is disabled. Uh, yeah, there was the white thing again. Okay, there are people here. <clears throat> I am sorry for clearing my throat. It's just, uh... Oh. Oh. Who's that? <laughs> Lolo. Okay, Lolo. Nice job. Anyway. Um... Uh, Uh, um, wow. Okay, uh, well, yeah, let's continue. Um, let's explore. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person recording here, so, uh, Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. I'm pretty sure we have nothing to, okay, game, game bugged. Yeah, it's not even opening up the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. Whatever, you know what, I don't need you. I don't need you in my life. Right, so I saw this, a picture of this. This must be where you get the missions. Yeah, it is. So you can get apparently special missions here. Uh, that is a lot of money. Those must have been the missions that were on the ship. Complete missions with other travelers to assist Nada and Polo. Raid, ha eliminate hazardous flora, raid the planetary depot, or unearth ancient boats. So these were all from the daily missions from the community event a long time ago. We might do one in the next episode, but not this one. This one's already running 40 minutes long, and it's gonna run for at least 10 more. There's th these are like people's ships here. They are coming and going. But let's check out this place. Oh, let's check out this Nexus. That's what they call that, the Nexus. That's what they call it. What are you supposed to be? Iteration Aridine. You are... Yeah, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Hello, like traveler. I'm not like you. Here you are safe and so very welcome. Iteration, whatever. A perfect fit. The place was designed to receive you. Ask about this place. Give me a second. Okay, apparently the microphone is not muting, so... I'm sorry about this. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I had to clear my throat again. Uh, for some reason, the microphone is not muting. Uh, OBS is... I don't know what's wrong with OBS. Anyway, uh, this place was designed to receive you. Let's ask about the place. My throat might sound a little bit choppy. That is because it is. Polo and Nader are best equipped to describe this place between places. They are here. Not far. Just at the top of those stairs. Of course they are. But I mean it when I say you are a perfect fit here. It is not a home for most, but a niche in the stars where you will always be welcome. Has someone their capital ship? Who's that? Can I like summon my ship here? Oh, I can't. Oh, well, whatever. Guess we're gonna be seeing a lot of messages. Okay, so this must be the top of the stairs. It is, it is. Priest Entity Nada. And I cannot talk to Nada. Trust me, I'm trying to. I cannot. Let's try and polo. Yeah, I guess, uh, again, bugs. It is day one. It has been only like 5-10 minutes since the updates uh, actually launched. On Steam, that is. On Steam. I should say on Steam because I am playing on Steam. Okay, I got lost. Okay, I did not get lost. I normally don't get lost, so... Let's explore. There's a lot of people here. Iteration Gemini. I cannot talk to Gemini. Asperus? Cannot talk to Asperus? Oh, he looks like me. Sort of. I'm a bit taller. What are you supposed to be? Oh, wow. Well... You are... I cannot talk to Helios. 
Hmm, it is entirely possible that not everything is working as it should be. Okay, we might have to explore later. <laughs> I was hoping to explore this episode, but... Apparently things are not working the way they should be. Oh. Has a Tron-esque feeling, in my opinion. It's kind of nice, don't get me wrong. Yeah, everybody's exploring. Nobody cares that people are here. Nobody cares about the multiplayer. Hey, I don't care about the multiplayer. I'm, I'm, I record solo mostly. Unless, you know, there's like a, a bigger YouTuber who wants to, you know, j jump in and uh, do me a solid. In that case, uh, I'm all for multiplayer. Oh, we managed to talk to somebody. Work together, my friend. Always new gear to turn. Research Exocraft upgrades. Oh, that's nice. So I can actually just research stuff from them. Yeah, we'll buy that. I have enough nanites. It's more than fine. It just seriously go away. Let's see, can I like uh, buy the things? Mm, yes. I'll just buy everything just to have everything. Oh, weapon. Probably the weapon of the day or the system or whatever. Hopefully that is not a swear word. I do try to keep the channel PG. Uh, trying to, that doesn't mean I don't- wow. What's with the ugly faces? Oh my. That's the mouth? I thought it was a helmet. <laughs> I honestly thought it was a helmet. More power, stronger, faster, sharper, sharper. Double sharper? Polished, refined, sharpened with nanites. This is for the multi-tool. Optical drill? That's new. This And survey device. These are new. Right, so... Wafer-thin lens arrays are arranged in a highly calibrated matrix, focus the, focusing the mining beam on, the, on an atomic level. The extra precision allows for highly efficient mining. Elements are extracted more efficiently, increasing the yield from items harvested with the multi-tool. Okay, we're definitely doing this. Wiring loom? Is that not a technology module? Is it, is it called... Oh, I got teleported. Oh, the crashes. I don't want to say it. We have not had a single crash for 15 minutes. For 15, not 15. Survey device. A self-contained circuitry upgrade for the analysis visor, adding real-time terrain analysis to the scanning array. Huh. And I said it, and it happened. It had to happen. Anyway, my name is Bernard Pinamistic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky, and I do hope to see you all... In the next one, I'm sorry you had to see my desktop. It's, it's horrible. I do not use Dashlane, by the way. I, I installed it. I'm about to uninstall it. It's... Mm, no. Anyway, Beyond Update. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, why did that person have to mention crashes? I'll see you all in the next one.